Well, good morning. It's Randy Tebert out here at Arizona. Um, sorry, I haven't been uh, putting videos out the last week and a half, two weeks. I've been sick. I'm just uh, finally recovered enough to get out. But uh, there is some news, as you can probably tell from the view. I have a new project bike. I uh, picked up a. Well, first of all, I sold my quads. As I just wasn't using them and wasn't getting out and uh, with the advent of getting the RV trailer uh, uh, probably not going to use them so uh, I sold them and uh, uh, met some nice people who picked them up and uh, we'd made some fair deals and uh, and uh, some some kids some teenagers are going to be very happy this year because they're getting quads for Christmas so right on and uh, thank you folks in case you happen to be watching my channel but anyway, the news is, the surprise is, I picked up a 2014 Triumph Bonneville T100. Low miles, new tires. Um, it needs some uh, TLC for sure. I mean, it runs great. Uh, mechanically, it's just fine. It's only got 3,100 miles on it. <coughs> I apologize for the cough. Um, I think I've had that RSV stuff. It's been pretty nasty the last couple of weeks. It's really kicked the hell out of me. But anyway, my Triumph, uh, it, again, it's a 2014. And uh, I had had Triumphs in the past, and uh, hence my name, Randy T-Bird. Because I had, I had to watch that car there. I had had a Triumph Thunderbirds and uh, that's some of my favorite motorcycles of all time. But uh, I've been hankering to get another uh, Triumph and uh, now I have. I, so now I have three motorcycles which is, uh, you know, um, the possibility that I do have some insane insanity condition. But, uh, but you know what, um, kind of a bucket list thing, you know. So I have this nice little little T100, and I say little because it does feel very small com in comparison to obviously my Harleys and even my Sportster. But uh, it's 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 a lot of fun. Not the fastest thing on the planet, but it'll go fast enough. Now when I got it, it had a bunch of uh, official Triumph accessories on it, uh, or genuine Triumph accessories, a nice windshield and some saddlebags and. Uh, some this that and the other on here uh, and uh, I, I didn't really want the windshield so I took it off and uh, I do have a fly screen coming for it because I'm gonna make this more I don't want to say a cafe racer but more of just a um, a standard a tr not a tracker even but you know just a just a, a run around a run around bike in the classic style so um, she's pretty comfortable um, it's been lowered uh, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna stay with that um, it's got progressive shocks on it that are 12 and a half inches which drops the back end down makes it easier you know seat height is really low but um, it's just something that uh, I've, I've got want to do some things too and these are gonna be pretty much um, Craigslist and swap meet type stuff that I find for it to, to fix it up and uh, no love lost on my my Harleys I do love my Harleys and uh, but in my entire life this has been pretty much what I've done is I've ridden Triumphs and Harleys my first road bike was a 1969 Bonneville and uh, has a special place in my heart and of course my Thunderbirds back in the 90s and even a speed triple um, I, I did miss I did miss the feel of it and uh, I'm just uh, just wanted to get back into it so uh, being a 2014 it doesn't have all the bells and whistles and the new ones and it's probably not nearly as fast um, that wasn't the whole point I just want something enjoyable and uh, I was looking for my digital tack like my uh, Harley has and I realized I do have an actual tachometer so <laughs> kind of funny very different. I'm running down a freeway here, trying to get a feel. I'm on 75 miles an hour, turning a little over 4,000 RPM. Um, 
Thanks, Jeff. The chopper fit. I know you bought one and you liked it. And, uh, you know, to be honest, to be truth, I bought a 2015 brand new back in December 2014. Um, and I didn't keep it and I never really gave it a chance. And uh, because I was really, really wanting another Dyna and I made some, let's call it poor, poor decisions to get the Dyna and I gave up the brand new Triumph I had. I never really even gave it a chance. So this is gonna get the chance. And um, so far, um, it, it, feels, it feels like a lot of fun. It feels very uh, light and sporty. You know, and even though it's, 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 I mean, some people will call it a cruiser, right? It's more of a standard than anything. Uh, the pegs are rear set a little bit, which I don't mind. Uh, the bar's a little bit lower. Um, not a big deal. Um, low flat bars. Uh, these mirrors are going to have to be changed out for something else. It's Mickey Mouse ears. Uh, but they never did. Uh, they look like an afterthought. Man, the turning is so light on this bike. It's got brand new tires on it. Uh, I, I actually got the bike from my brother-in-law and uh, it had been stored uh, outside under a cover, but it's still in Arizona. We get a lot of dust and stuff. So uh, it had gotten kind of dirty. So I spent yesterday cleaning her up and, and taking some of the things off that I didn't really want to keep. Uh, I also got a tank bag with it, which I'm gonna try to figure out a way to mount it on the back of the seat as a tail bag. I just have to get some straps, so a trip to uh, Cycle Gear will probably fix that. So. But anyway, this is the new project for 2023, and uh, the Sportster is pretty much done, and uh, uh, I've ridden that one around uh, uh, mostly local stuff and uh, not really any long rides. And then, of course, I've got my 2022 Heritage, which is my main motorcycle, my main love here. But uh, this is awesome. This is awesome. I'm so glad to be able to get this and then, you know, kind of helps out my brother-in-law too with a little cash and uh, they can do some more things. He wasn't really riding it, obviously. It's a 2014 with 3,100 miles on it, you know, but uh, pretty nice. I got all the original manuals with it and everything and uh, the accessories, so. And I'm bombing along here at about 70 miles an hour. The wind blast doesn't feel too bad. I know from experience that little fly screen will help even more. But uh, it's very quiet. Now that stock exhaust, although I got a feeling these may be the uh, Triumph accessory mufflers because they're a little louder than I remember the stock ones being on my last T100. So either that or they're just broken in and the little passages are filling up with carbon and making it more of a straight through than before. Anyway, I'm going to cut this video a little short. I'll record a little bit more later and a little walk around of the bike um, as I take it out for its uh, kind of a maiden cruise here. Uh, again, I've been sick all week and so I haven't really been out on the bikes at all. So, Anyway, this is Randy T-Bird and I'll be back in a little while. Hey, it's Randy, I'm back. And on the Triumph. Uh, so we're just getting it out on the road here. One of the things I've realized, uh, just kind of some observations. It's very torquey and it's very, I want to call, uh, peppy. It's got some, it's got some fun to it. it it's no road ripper, but it is, uh, it, it's got a lot of torque and it's just really easy to ride. The power band is very wide and, uh, Vibration is next to non-existent on it. Um, I mean, it's still, you can feel it a little bit, you know, but uh, it's not anything like the old English bikes or even like my uh, Sportster, which has some shake to it, even though it's rubber mounted. Uh, it just feels very refined and very well made. This I knew about Triumphs and uh, their recent, uh, you know, when I say recent, it's been 30 years now since their resurgence when they came back to England. But it's just, uh, it's great. It's very stable feeling. Um, it's just so light compared to what I'm used to. 
and no, no windshield. I'm feeling a little bit of breeze here. No real buffeting. I'm going 75. It's not a not a problem. But she is, uh, like I said, at first impressions, uh, very torquey, very pleasant uh, exhaust note. Even though I can't hear it here at highway speed. This has got a thrum to it. I believe this is the 360 degree crank model. Air cooled, five speed transmission, wire wheels, um, again, twin shocks and uh, conventional forks. As you can see, Speedo intact. It's got, you know, minimal electronics on it. Um, it is fuel injected. And uh, the fuel injectors look like carburetors. Uh, they, they kind of, the, the throttle bodies that were designed to, to look like the old carburetors. So. It's got it just, just as a nice classic feel to it without all the classic issues that you had with those old bikes. Transmission is just butter smooth. You know, I, you know obviously it's broken in. Uh, but, the, but I mean, it's just, just smooth, very just glass, butter, as they say. And uh, I don't think I even need the clutch. There is a clutchless up shape right there, no problem. And it reminds me, very, very precision made. I remember when I had my older Triumphs, just the way things went together on them was just so well engineered. I remember in particular, I had to change a flat and the rear flat. And, it, and my 95 Triumph had eccentric adjusters uh, on the rear swing arm and uh, the, the throttle, the uh, excuse me, the axle went through and it had screws on either end of it, or uh, Allen screws, 12 millimeter Allen's that went through and then there was a circlip to keep it, keep it in place, but everything just clicked to place like a fine watch. I'm just amazed at, at how precise everything is on them. When they went back to business in the early 90s, all of their uh, production equipment and all stuff was state-of-the-art, brand new. Um, uh, robotics and uh, high-tech CNC machines. So none of the stuff was done by hand, so to speak, um, as the old Brilliant Triumphs were, if any of you had any of those. But, uh, yeah, just my observation, this is a really nice motorcycle. You know, I'm not a big guy. Uh, the bike does feel a little small to me, but nothing, not uncomfortably so. My, uh, I believe the seat height is right around 29 inches, so that's fine for me. Maybe a little less because it has shorter shocks. Uh, I think the stock shocks are 13 and a half inches long, and these progressives that are on there are like 12 and a half, so a little inch less in the back. Um, thing makes about 67 horsepower, 68 horsepower, and about 58 or 59 foot-pounds of torque, which is more than adequate for a bike of this size. Just very comfortable. JP, I'd probably compare it to your uh, Scrambler uh, that you got, your Ducati, your 800. Probably very similar. But your, your bike is probably quicker than this because it's newer. But uh, you, you, you like the feel of it, and I, and, and I do as well. So Anyway, I'll be mixing in a video, uh, a walk-around video here once I get to my first stop here for the day. A little chilly day out here in Arizona. It's probably in the high 40s, low 50s right now. Uh, we've had some tremendous weather. Unfortunately, I had five days off, and unfortunately, was sick most of it. I I did get to have a good Thanksgiving dinner. Thank you to my beautiful wife for spending the bigger part of the day cooking, and uh, and it was just we had an excellent turkey and all the. Like, all of the dishes that go with that and some pie and whatever so just some amazing stuff and we're still using the leftovers so that's good she's got my wife likes to get on the internet and look up um, country cooking type uh, things and so 
she got another idea to do with the leftovers today, so that sounds good. So it ought to be a good meal later today. At any rate, I will be doing a walk around video, and this is Randy Tiber out here in Arizona just showcasing the new project. And I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving and, and you enjoyed it, and um, you're able to get out at all. And you folks up there in the north, well, better let me be your window on the world here for a little while until your weather comes back. But uh, this is Randy Tiber out here in Arizona. Don't forget to subscribe, we're pushing that. 1,000 mark, 966 today. Uh, 34 left to go to hit the magic 1,000. So that'll be one of the biggest accomplishments in the two and a half, almost three years I've been doing the YouTube. And uh, I'm really glad I've stuck with it. And I'm glad that you all watch and I really appreciate it. We'll talk to you later.